We're now going to create a flask using Metaza Studio and the Roland MPX80. First thing we need to do is set up our printable area. First thing we're going to do is launch Metaza Studio. Once we launch Metaza Studio, we're going to select our square under our material size. We'll uncheck keep the aspect and we'll input the size of our flask. In this case it's 50 millimeters by 80 millimeters. Next we'll import our vector graphic for printing on the curved surface of our flask. To import our graphic we click on import. We set our file type to AI or EPS and locate the logo we want to apply to our flask. We can select the graphic, right click on it, and fit to material if it's larger than our material size. We can then resize, reposition our graphic in our printable area to fit on the flask. Once we've adjusted our text, our graphic, we can right click on it, go to properties, and select our fill and contour, and put a fill on our graphic with the contour outline. At this point we're going to add some text to our flask. To add text, we select the text icon, click anywhere on our screen, and input our text. We can then resize, reposition our text anywhere on the screen to position it on our flask. We can right click on the text, go to properties, click on fill and contour. We're going to add a fill and a contour outline to the text and click OK. Now we will preview our print job and output to the machine. To preview the job, we click on Print Preview. To bring up our Print Preview screen. In the Preview screen, we can adjust our Brightness, Contrast, and Gamma for the file. If everything looks OK, we can click on Print, click on Properties, under image correction, ensure we select the right material type and resolution. Click OK and click OK to print.